guys and welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing a recipe for stuffed pasta shells to get started here are my ingredients and i have here some pasta sauce i'll be using some ground lamb and ground beef i have my jumbo shells back there and i'll be using some frozen spinach you can use fresh if you like i have bell peppers onions garlic uh ricotta cheese cream cheese mozzarella cheese, uh, parmesan cheese, green seasoning. I have dried herbs, basil, thyme, rosemary, and parsley. I'll be using some mushroom seasoning, complete seasoning, black pepper, uh, garlic powder, and seasoned salt. So let's start by combining the ricotta cheese and cream cheese. Now, you know a lot of people don't like the taste of ricotta cheese. Actually, it don't have a taste. It's pretty much bland and it feels like mushy in your mouth. Well, to mask that taste, what we'll do is add the cream cheese. You know, the cream cheese have a lovely, rich, you know, tangy and savory kind of delicious taste. And that will mask, you know, the taste of the ricotta cheese. Then we will add our Parmesan cheese. That will add a bit of saltiness to the recipe. And we will add the spinach. We will use spinach in place of parsley because spinach is a bit more healthier and it has a nicer texture. So we will combine all of those ingredients and we'll set it aside. Then we'll move on to making our meat sauce. In a preheated pot, I will now add the ground beef and the ground lamb. We will allow it to brown up a bit and release all of its juices. And what will be left is a lot of oil. We will drain that oil off and then we will start to saute our vegetables and season the meat. So if you look closely, you can see a lot of oil that is settling right there. We will go ahead and drain that off because we don't want our filling to be greasy or oily. Next, we'll go ahead and add our onions, peppers, garlic, and we'll also add the seasoning here to, you know, season up our meat and add flavor. We will give it a good mix and we'll let it go for about five minutes. So at this point, we'll now add the pasta sauce and we'll also add some red pepper flakes to add a bit of heat and spiciness to the dish. You can add as much or as little as you like, you know, go with whatever you prefer. And we will also add some sugar here because anything I'm cooking with tomato sauce or pasta sauce, I always add a little sugar just to balance that acidity out. And once we give it a good toss, we will sit the lid on and let this go on low heat for about 45 minutes. After about 45 minutes, this is now done. Now we will garnish with some fresh parsley and we will turn the heat off and set this aside. Let it cool down a bit before we move on to the next step. While our meat sauce is cooling down, we'll go ahead and boil the pasta shells. You want to boil them until they're al dente. You don't want to boil them too soft or else they will fall apart. They will not hold up. You can follow the instructions on the box, you know, to get the correct texture. So here I have a 9 by 13 baking dish. And I'll go ahead now and add some of that meat sauce down at the bottom of the dish. This will help your 
uh, pasta to stay in place and not be sliding all over the dish because you know they are smooth so if you put them on that smooth dish they will just be sliding all over it also helps to keep the pasta moist and not burn at the bottom so we will now start filling the shells by adding some of that ricotta cheese mixture first then we will add the meat sauce and we will continue this process until we are all done you know or until we are all out of shells i did use another baking dish because this baking dish did not fit all of the shells but you know if you have a bigger dish that can fit all of them go right ahead and use that once we're done i'll show you guys the next step Next, we will top these with some mozzarella cheese and we'll place it in a 375 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or at least until your cheese melts. Everything here is already cooked, so you don't need to cook it for a long period of time. Once your cheese melts, that's it. And then I'll show you guys the last step. So once your shells comes out of the oven, what I like to do is drizzle some of that pasta sauce right over top like so. It's perfect for presentation purposes. Also, I like my shells nice and saucy and juicy. I just sprinkle some fresh parsley and that's it. Super simple and easy and this is perfect for your holiday tables as an appetizer. Your guests will be amazed and they will definitely enjoy this. Now I will plate this up and show you guys the finished product. So this is how I make a super delicious stuffed pasta shells. This was actually one of my subscribers request. I hope it met all of your expectations and I hope you give the recipe a try. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy!